The main reason this decision is coming now is because of the governor's latest lifted restrictions, which means more students can be inside a classroom. Today, we went inside a classroom here at Dean Peterson Elementary School. Then the superintendent answered many of the questions parents have had for months. Classrooms are set and ready for students pre-K through third grade to return. We toured this third grade class at Dean Peterson Elementary. Those blue bags hold supplies for the first group of students returning to the classroom on Monday. And now Superintendent Jesus Jara says in just weeks, some middle schoolers and high schoolers can return too. As I've stated for many months, I wanted our schools open. Under the governor's new guidelines, classrooms can reach 75% capacity, but only after 20 days of in-person instruction. That's why pre-K through fifth grade returned to full in-person learning on April 6th. The things that we are reviewing um, currently is that three feet versus six feet social distancing. Um, when you look at the six feet social distancing with 50% capacity, it doesn't provide you with much more. But with that 75% capacity, we will have the ability to bring in more children. The success of the hybrid model will determine if older students can return in person full time later this year. My goal is that we're in face to face instruction when we open school next year. We wanted to know why grades 6, 9th and 12th will be the next group to return. Jara says it's so students entering new schools for the first time and seniors can come back as soon as possible. Um, it was an opportunity for us to get our kids in for a week to transition into our middle schools and high schools before our upperclassmen showed up. More students on campus means more protective equipment is necessary, but Jara insists there are enough masks and other PPE for full in-person instruction. The close conversations with the governor's office, they have opened their office for us on a 24-7, uh, whatever we need, and it's not just PPE, it's contact tracing. So where do things stand right now with vaccinations? So far, at least 16,000 district employees have received the coronavirus vaccine. That's through UNLV's site. That's out of about 42,000 employees total in the district. We also just want to clarify, just because in-person learning is opening up, it doesn't mean that parents will be required to bring their kids back to the classroom.